ดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today here on NBT World for the year 21. Let's begin our new season with Jiao Phya Delta 2040 Development Project. The Jiao Phya Basin is the largest in Thailand and has both flood and drought issues. In many re rainy seasons, the whole area is covered by the water. And after the rainy season ends, the water has disappeared. So today, Associate Professor Dr. Sujirit Kuntana Gunwong, Department of Water Resources and Engineering, Jiralongkorn University. He also a program chair, a spearhead research program on water management. And also Associate Professor Dr. Sutisak Son Lam. He's from the Department of Civil Engineering, Prasad University. He also researcher on Jiao Priya Delta 2040 development project. Both of them will explain in our program the directions and plans for short-term flood mitigate measures and for the future flood planning of the project. Swadika, gentlemen. Swadika. Well, you have brought us uh, some dream. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it going to be true or not? You're going to tell me now. <laughs> okay. So, sir, let me begin with um, Dr. Sujirit. So, what are the main objectives of the Japriya River, Japriya Delta 2040 development project, sir? Yeah, actually, this uh, area, since you mentioned already, is very important yeah. for the country. Yeah? Yeah, and we produce about 40% uh, of the GDP uh. in this area. Yes. So when we start with the National Strategic Plan, and we also concerned with the water and environment, yeah. we feel that uh, this area is uh, very special. However, when we plan, yes. there are certain many layers, uh -huh. both from resources, energy, water, and the environment issue. So we found that this, uh, there's a need to have some uh, guideline or even some for some vision mm. for this area. Mm. So the objective, mm. uh, firstly, is try to find uh, some joint vision mm. of this area in the next 20 years. Mm. What this area will be here? Mm. You know, so this is the main. I'm going to be here. <laughs> yeah. so, so from that, we need to know that. So what is the gap? Yes, sir. That we need to, uh, the un gap of understanding uh -huh. and gap of the linkage and gap of the content that we need to do. Mm. So there are two or three objectives. One is to find some uh, temporary vision in the gap, and also what we should do from now mm. to bring to the gap. Mm. So these are the main objectives of this uh, project on, under the research. Okay, yeah. since our time is so limited, so I'll just go along with yes. this before uh, yeah. getting to the other details. So Dr. Sutisa, what are the major concerns uh, to be uh, resolved under the Japria Delta 2040 development project? Uh? If we look back, but, um, for uh, 50 or 60 years ago, yes. we can see that um, uh, in this area, mm -hmm. uh, we develop unplanned. Mm. That's a problem. Mm. And when you have yes. unplanned, uh, you create a new problem. Exactly. And you start to solve the problem. Uh -huh. You start to spend the money to mm. try to solve the old problem. Yes. And it's accumulate mm. again and again. Mm -hmm. So it's better to mm -hmm. find you know, the, the common dream Mm. of the people who live in this area. Exactly. Okay, and then the common dream will, everyone will try to push it, will try to participate. Mm. It, it, it may not be, you know, a, a very big dream, mm. yeah, but it has to be some, some dream that some people dreams. can achieve and then go ahead of it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So which areas uh, will be covered uh, with this project? Yeah, um, firstly, it's in, in this area, mm. um, uh, we call Chaopaya Delta. Mm. So Delta is a Delta Lake area. But it reach how many, cover how many um, provinces? Let, let's say that it's starting from Nakhon Sawan province, Nakhon Sawan province. Uh, province and then uh, cover down uh -huh. uh, from Chaopaya so River area, okay. uh, Bang Pakong area, uh -huh. uh, Tha Chin and Mekong area. Okay. So it's a big Delta Lake mm. uh, that the soil deposit in this area. Mm -hmm. But it's not just you know in the physical meaning. Uh, as in terms of the social mm -hmm. connecting, mm -hmm. uh, it's also connect to other basin like uh, in the northern part area as well. Okay. But however, we in in focusing area is in the the Delta basin just like just like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Let me come back to Dr. Sujarit. Uh, <coughs> yes. uh, how important of the water resource uh, resource management in this uh, Delta? Yeah, yeah. As you as we mentioned already, that uh, in this area, this 
forty percent of GDP are generated, huh? yeah. uh, both from the agriculture and from the services and also manufacturing. There are so many industrial estates in this area, mm. so that's why uh, all sector need water mm. for consumption. Huh? Mm. Yeah, the second one. Yeah, so what we have yeah, the uh, 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 back to forty years ago. I think we have the first dam in uh, about sixty years ago, mm. and then after that we have about four big main dams. After that, uh, we don't have any new resources. Mm. But we have to manage water within, within that limit. Mm. Huh? Again, because we are on typhoon. Oh. So you mentioned already yes. that in the rainy season, yes, we have yeah. a lot of rain, huh? mm. and then yes. come and come in flood. Mm. But after that, we have very dry here. So mm. this kind of uh, very uh, extreme huh? mm. uh, uh, is coming yes. with the climate change again. Yeah. So that's why uh, to manage uh, water resources under this changing uh, environment yes. and uh, atmosphere like this. Mm. So the water management now needs some new, more mm. uh, modern vision and also the way to properly manage this water. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, the, the GPD, GPD, we would yes. like to grow, or even the social life of people uh, yeah. will be uh, more frequent. So mm -hmm. that's why the management of water is very important mm -hmm. and need to be more secure. This is yeah. important that uh, the linked uh, delta vision. It's, it's high time. Dr. Tutsa, what is the process uh, for this action plan for this uh, latest development? We go slowly, mm. no hurry at all. Yeah. We try to link the people who are the stakeholders of yes. this area together. Uh -huh. um, yes. The government agency, of course, uh, um, the NGOs, yes. uh, the people uh -huh. uh, who are in the local business. Yes. Uh, and uh, global business to link together. Mm -hmm. So the first year we kind of introduce our idea yes. and try to try to ask them what are their, their dreams. Uh, yes. uh, and they uh -huh. gave us some dreams uh -huh. already. Uh -huh. uh, for the next uh, next process, uh, we will try to link the knowledge uh -huh. of each group together. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. and try to sort out the problem, the common problem that we have seen together, mm -hmm. and try to get some example that we can do together in this area. Mm. Okay. Why, sir, why did we come up for this uh, uh, Mekong, uh, I'm sorry, Japia Delta 2040 now? <laughs> yeah, it, it should have been done 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right, that's right. We've been flooding, we've been a lot of things happening to us all. Yes, sir. So? It's because nobody have done uh, uh. this kind of challenging project before. Because yes. the you know the area is quite large and big, in involves so many people, yes. so many stakeholders. Mm. But um, yeah, if if we not start now, mm. Eh, mm. we have no nothing in twenty years. Yeah. But I think one more thing that uh, last two years, uh, uh -huh. the government set up the national <coughs> twenty year national <coughs> strategic plan, program. Uh, yeah. plan, so that that's one uh, reflect that uh, we need something more common uh, vision of this area yes. to set on the long-term one. Uh, uh -huh. So that also create one of this uh, idea from that uh, planning stage that we need something joint vision between the people in this area. Yes. And that started to the research yeah, now. Yeah, because time passed by and the people, well, we all realized hmm. that what's happening and what's going to be in the future. But what you did talk to the people, uh, just now, Dr. Dr. Sir, what, we talked to the people, how, how much they understand it would have been, they would have been understanding but long back. Well, uh, at the beginning, it's very difficult mm. because they don't understand what we are trying to do. Yes, yeah? sir. But um, since we start to um, to interview and then mm. go to see uh, each group quite often, yeah. and then we try to get some seminar and then uh, Zoom meeting. Yes. This kind of thing. Yeah? So yes. we have more idea uh -huh. uh, together now. Mm. So we have so example okay. from other countries that we that we um, get some expert from Japan, from Netherlands, how they management their area. Uh -huh. Also South Africa. Uh -huh. uh, we just learned to know that in South Africa there there was a mm. day zero. Mm. Day zero is mean that in mm. in the Cape Town yeah. there, there will be no water at all. Really? Because of lack of uh, good management of the water. Uh. So this is a good example for our people in Chopaya Delta. Yeah. Uh, if we have no management, uh, we just, you know, just wait for the fate mm -hmm. of the God. Presently, it's just the research. It's not a uh, drillity or what? Or, uh, or yeah, it's, it's kind of um, what we call social lab. So, uh, uh, it's a social lab. Yes. I cannot say that it's 100% research. 
Ah, yes. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not, actually, it's not like a technical research at all. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. kind of uh, uh, try to link the people together and uh -huh. use their capability okay, uh -huh. to join us and then to, si to try to see and solve the problem together. I, it's yeah. another research, I mean, a social yeah. research process. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because right. up to now, people yeah. are living in their own and yeah. interest what they own. But how to bring it, that's uh, why. The people engagement. <coughs> yes. Yeah. So that it is one thing that uh, we are doing research. Right. How right, the people right. get into the social, so that they also taking a care about the part, the whole mm. picture together. Mm. So this is one of the, the it's new approach. It's going to be first ever <laughs> in the kingdom of Thailand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been sitting and talk for the first time. Should right? be the first time. Uh, yeah. Time. That's what we uh, yeah, is so trying it to is do. It's hopeful for yeah. you all. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. It's hopeful for for everybody that uh, things could be saluted to be talk about and something to be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another thing is that it's important to support, eh? not mm -hmm. just engagement. Yes. We need to find, you know, the, the group to do the good database. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. for our area. Yes, sir. The database that contain data from, from, from many disciplines, mm -hmm. yeah, from the uh, development point of view, mm -hmm. environmental, social, mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. We don't have that now. Yeah. So it's, so it, it's, it means that if you want to sort, sort out some problem, mm, yes. you don't know what impact it's going to be mm. in the yes. future. Okay. I'm going to come back with the major roles of the community set. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break then. So we're coming to the end of the first part of our interview. So please stay tuned for the next. Welcome back once again to our program. We are, let's continue our discussion on Jao Priya Delta 2040 Development Project. Well, sir, very interesting topic of the day. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Sujisak, what are the major roles? We need communities. So, the major, major roles of community and residents uh, in Jao Priya Delta Development Project. That is very important yes, because they are the main stakeholder. Mm -hmm. They are the people who live in, this, in that area. Mm -hmm. They need to bring up the problem and their dream mm. that they want to, you know, participate and sort out. Mm. So that's why we need to create what we call the safe zone, mm. the mm. safe area mm. for the people to come together. The mm. government officer have to come and then be able to share what they know and what they don't know. Ah. Uh, for the first time, they have to open-minded for what you don't know. Right, you know? that's mm. important. Mm. What the capability and not capability to do. Yeah. 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 And also the community comes. Eh? Mm. How can they help? Yes. Uh, and what their problems? Yeah. It's important, and but it's very difficult to create a safe zone, mm. the mm. zone that people open-minded and try to. Mm. Also, the the investor. Ah, oh, ah yes. the public sector uh -huh. that they need to come and then yes. uh, we we organize the the big seminar people come one hundred about two hundred people yes uh, mm. every party comes mm. yeah. um in that seminar yeah, uh, it's very very successful uh, that um but however we mm. told them that we have no goal oh, <laughs> ah, I was about to ask you there's no goal so but people have to do something with goal right but no goal means what you <laughs> You need to create our goal, All right. common goal together. Common goal, yes. Yeah, but for the project, for mm. the management team, we have no goal. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. the, in, the, the information uh, and the thing ha need to come from you, mm. to come and join together and set some dream and target together. Yeah, that is very important. Yes, <laughs> very important, really. And um, uh, Dr. Suchiri said, Thai people has uh, real good-natured people. <coughs> yes. 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 So, uh, how is this project uh, help uh, mitigate both flood and drought issue for the Bangkok and uh, suburbs? Uh, actually, the for the national plan, they have certain idea that we like to have this uh, 
drainage system, we need this boulder to protect. So, but when they come together, maybe uh, this area do that, this area. So, if we have some uh, conflict yes. Yeah, yes, along sir. this area because of the, some natural plan, I think there are, should, should have some places that we can talk and discuss mm -hmm. so that they can fly uh, some uh, joint solution. So, I think in this area, we divide mm -hmm. you know, some, some part is a rural area mm -hmm. with agriculture base. And some part is of a city, some part is like a capital, big city. So even each area, they are together. Mm, so how yes. the rural can help with the city, and city with the like urban like Bangkok. Mm. So uh, economically, these are linked together. Mm. So that's why uh, at, at the end, it's a joy uh, benefit for the, uh, what, what's the project that joy? Mm. If you have water, uh -huh. rural people also should prefer. Yes. City also prefer. Uh -huh. also prefer. Yeah. So if the project go, then they have the win-win situation. Uh. Yes. It will be a uh, great. So that's why when we talk with the rural, they, what they want is the kind of uh, certain infrastructure and livable. They are not going to be like the high GDP like Bangkok. <laughs> uh, but they are uh -huh. living with that. So for yes. the city, now they want the modern one, mm. a little bit on in IT infrastructure. So exactly. they can work from there, not, not just to come to Bangkok to work. Uh. Uh, so and the yeah. Bangkok be become more green. More green. Not yeah. a lot of congestion and been flat like this. So yes. if we uh, make, make a little bit more diversification in this area, I think we ha can have a good mix. Uh. So that is something that's a stage we got from the workshop that each body have some objective, but the object, if we come together, it can be a high up, I mean, combination and have a very good optimum combination. This is something that we, we found from the workshop that yes. people agree on that. Uh, that's what, uh, I should not skip with the Thai good nature. So mention a little bit on that, touch yeah. a little bit on this. Why did you say that Thai really have a good nature? <laughs> I mean, uh, actually, Thai people are, uh, I mean, Buddhism. Uh, uh, and then they are kind. So if they know people minded. are affected by something, uh, uh, they have to sy sympathize. Uh, uh, <coughs> but if they don't know, they say they, they, they have to take the mind. So if we share uh, and feel that, I think the both are sympathized to go along and then adjust or compromise with something with exactly. else, so mm. that they can live together. I think mm. as In a community, yeah, that. so that we can have some this kind of atmosphere. I'm very glad that uh, our audience can hear for this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let's come back to Dr. Sujisak. Uh, what are the directions of Jalpaya Delta future settlement? This is so so important. Yes, of course. Um, uh, we we need to concern about the the land use, mm. uh, especially land use map, the current land use map. However, the current land use map need to be combined mm. uh, with the water map. Okay. Okay, and also some statistical information relating with the um, repeatedly drought and flood area. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. These are the things that need to ah, integrate, merged. merge. Integrate. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then we create a new one. Mm -hmm. yeah, we we don't need to solve the problem of the flood. Yeah, hundred percent. But we may need to live with it. And how can we live with it? Mm. Instead of spending money. Yes. Yeah, but we try to accept and live with it. The same as droughts. Mm -hmm. uh, we may change mm -hmm. some kind of crop that is uh, less use less water in Ooh. that area. For example, oh, that far. we have gone that far. Right. Okay. So we need to we need mm -hmm. to look at big picture. Or otherwise, in the in the drought area, maybe we develop some some industrial that not use much of the water. Move them out. Right. Something mm. like that. Right. Right. Sound like it start from clearing up. From head to feet, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. We, uh, we this drastic yeah. change. Yeah, right. Right. The whole right. city of the wetlands, you know, the dry lands. 2040. 2040. We, we, have, we have time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Not hurry at all. Yeah, we, but everything, hopes is the best. Right. We right, could have right. hopes. <laughs> so, sir, and then let's continue with it. Um, uh, as the Delta 2040 project is under the spearheads, of uh, water management. So tell us more about this plan, please. Spearhead project, uh, the, the design is try to solve uh, uh, what yeah. is a water issue. Water uh. issue yes. So yeah. apart from the Jabraya Delta, we still have two more projects. Okay. Uh, one is a EEC. EEC? Yeah, the is Eastern Economic Corridor. Ah. Yeah. So in the future, now uh, Delta is about 40%. And we hope that the EEC will create another 30% of the GDP. Okay. So these two combine 70% already. Oh. On the GDP, so it's very important. So that's why uh, 
water issue is also another problem that we need to tackle in the in the future, in the future for yeah. EC. If we have mm. more investment, mm. we have now going mm. to have a, fat, a drain, mm. uh, bullet train. Huh? Yes. We have yes. a lot of scientific research. So this area are now preparing for infrastructure, both water. Mm. Another issue that we are tackling is about the dam operation. Yes. So we have about 44 mm. dams mm. In, mm. in Thailand. Mm. How to manage the water that we have mm. more efficient access. So we are using more on the high technology, uh, even mm. big data, focus on AI, to, in order to make this more efficiency. So these are two or three projects under the spearhead process program mm. under water, which try to solve uh, mm. present and also near future and the future problem of the country. Thailand had a little bit of, um, I don't want to say about the word drawback, but uh, this is the setting. <coughs> These are the group of the spearhead. Yes. You're looking forward, you're starting. But after a while, <laughs> you're not doing it. Any, but still the projects do there constructively? Or they're going to change or uh, again, you know? Well, if, if, the, uh, if the requirement uh -huh. is from the community yes. to live over there, and mm. if this, the plan is or dream is mm. set, it, set up by the community and the stakeholder, yeah. I think it will keep continue. Keep continue. Yeah. Right. But if you, if you think that this you know, planning um, is the duty of the government only, mm. Mm. that's not, not, that's not going to work. Oh, yes. Government change. Change. That's right. right. That's why I meant. So that's that. why we need some public plan, uh, uh. community plan. So this is for all. Yes. Not this is for all. Uh. So we believe that with this concept, is we keep continue. Whoever going to come and do it. Right. But still the people, commun community. Right. They have they to, yeah? Yeah. they want it, <coughs> they, want, they need <coughs> it actually mm. and uh, to be right. done. So, what is your expectation, sir, of the development of this project 2020 in the next 20 years? <laughs> well, um, we love to see green city, mm. uh, green, a city green like, like in Bangkok that is yeah. livable and then enjoy to live. A good environment, effective to work mm. inside. Mm. Okay, we like to see the industrial that's safe. Mm. Safe both in terms of the you know safety and mm. also environment safety, mm. yeah, and then can enjoy and can can live together with the community. Mm. We like to see the rural area mm. that is um, the 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 natural things, yeah, natural uh, environment still yeah very good. Mm. People still love to go out mm. yeah, to the rural area. Yes. Yeah, these are the things that we try we try to create for the next 20 years. Mm. Good living. Good living. Right. <laughs> 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 Last but not least, uh, Dr. Sujirit, besides Japaya uh, Delta, uh, Japaya Delta 2040, which are the area particularly being undertaken through development of the new water master plan? Yes. Yeah, as I mentioned before, that uh, we are uh, starting with the uh, the economic development. Mm -hmm. So the Chabaya is a very basic we combine with many rural area, city area and also mm -hmm. urban like Bangkok. Mm -hmm. So that is what the issue. But next one is about the, <coughs> the new development area, the like Eastern yes, Economic sir. Corridor. Uh -huh. So this is also uh, the target of the next area that we are trying to approach with the central planning together with the stakeholder planning together mm -hmm. so that we can be, uh, bring on the joy uh, understanding and movement within this area. So mm -hmm. this is also another next year program for Dudu. By the way, you mentioned that it's not governmental. So this is not governmental. Yeah, we are the neutral body. Yeah? As neutral a body. Scholar, neutral. We call it neutral body. Yeah. So right. we link with, right. with both the government and also with the people, oh. so that they, we can bring as they say the, some platform that they can make joy understanding, oh. and then we we move for mm. we convey both message to the government right. and also right. the community at the same time. Right. So yeah. right. something that they can jointly understand, they move. But something that also we need some time and place so that they can uh, research or make some under joy understand. So this is uh, the area. Yeah. Like, like, yes. like next month. Yes. Um, we plan to have the seminar uh -huh. about the flooding and 
traffic jam Ooh, in Bangkok. Yes. <laughs> have you heard about that before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nobody no, have done no, that not seminar yet, before. Not yet. That's what. <laughs> it's something like real. We are, we are really <laughs> curious, but nobody have done it before. I see. So we need to do it. Do it. Right. Yes, <laughs> Wish you all the best, sir, for right. what you're undertaking. Thank we you very much. We need your hands to work on this. <laughs> we ending up our program with great thanks to Associate Professor Dr. Sucharit. Kun Tanakun Bong, the Department of Water Resources uh, Engineering, Chalungkorn University. He, he also program chair spearhead research program on water management and associate professor Dr. Sutisak Solam, Department of Civil Engineering, Kasetsa University. We really appreciate for your coming and being with us. So I hope you enjoy the show and have a great day. Thanks for watching Thailand today. By the way, you can also watch Thailand Today on NBT World channel or live broadcast on YouTube channel. NBT World every Tuesday to Friday from 9 p.m. onwards. We'll see you next time. Sadiqa.